Got some breaking airline news right now. Phil LeBeau joins us with the latest. Phil, what's happening? Andrew, we've got a merger between Frontier and Spirit, the two airlines, low-cost carriers, announcing that they have agreed to merge. This is a deal valued at $6.6 billion. And while they're calling this a merger of equals, make it clear here that Frontier will control 51.5% of this airline, Spirit controlling 48.5%. This works out to Spirit shareholders getting just under 2 shares of Frontier plus $2.16 for each share of Spirit, a 19% premium compared to where Spirit was trading on Friday. For Spirit, they've been aggressively growing the route network really over the last 10 years, and that growth has been fueled in the last year and a half by strong leisure demand. On the flip side, it's a similar playbook for Frontier. It has, uh, by the way, ex as it's expanded, it's also expanding its fleet. It'll be uh, taking delivery of 91 Airbus A321neo planes over the next couple of years. The nice thing about this deal, guys, compatible fleets, all Airbus fleets. As you take a look at the largest airlines in the U.S., we always talk about the big four controlling basically three out of every four flights in the U.S. When you go by revenue passenger miles back in 2019, really the cleanest numbers you can look at, Put Spirit and Frontier together, they become the fifth largest airline with 5.4% market share. Take a look at shares of Spirit and Frontier and see how they're doing this morning. Really, for all the airlines, it's been a rough couple of months. But again, this is a case where Spirit shareholders will be getting a 19% premium for their shares in exchange for Frontier shares. Still to be determined, the name of the airline, who will be the CEO, the headquarters location, all of that will be worked out uh, over the months to come. You do not want to miss our uh, interview coming up, guys, in 45 minutes. A Squawk Box exclusive. We are going to be talking with the principals who put this deal together. Barry Biffle, CEO of Frontier. Ted Christie, CEO of Spirit. And Bill Frank. You knew he would have his fingers in here. He is the chairman of Indigo Partners, also chairman of Frontier. Look, he, at one point, was chairman of Spirit from 2006 to 2017. Guys, on paper, this makes total sense. The real question now is whether or not the Biden administration will give its blessing to this uh, merger between Frontier and Phil, Spirit. Again, the two airlines hope to close this deal later this year. Phil, that, that's what I wanted to ask you. Do regulators allow this? Now, clearly, you know, you look at those charts and you say to yourself, they are minnows relative to the consolidation that's already happening. Correct. And maybe you need the size and scale to compete with those bigger players. And that's the argument that I imagine both Frontier and Spirit will make. At the same time, you have an administration that's becoming increasingly aggressive, or at least talking quite aggressively. And you could make an argument, I imagine, that Spirit and Frontier pull the price down and provide some of that competition. Yep. In That's what they're going to argue. That is to exactly some of the what big they're going to argue. Players. And so, so where, 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 where do you land in the end? I think that's the argument they're going to make. And look, for an administration that has made it clear when it comes to mergers and acquisitions, they want to see what the ultimate outcome would be, the impact would be on the consumers. And what would happen for the public? I think the argument that you're going to hear from Frontier and Spirit is, look, you look at our track record. We bring down fares when we enter a market. Also, they are not dominant in any one market. They can argue that there's plenty of competition in all of the markets where they fly to. Look, one of the biggest destinations for these guys is Las Vegas. Do they dominate Las Vegas? No. Are they the biggest? No. Even after they get together, they won't be the biggest. But what you have here <clears throat> is a case where these two airlines say we are completely compatible. Frontier tends to have a little bit more exposure in the western U.S. Then you've got Spirit tends to have a little more exposure than Frontier and the eastern U.S. as well as to the Caribbean. They look at this, and on paper, they say it's a win-win, and they believe the argument about bringing costs down will be one that makes the regulator say, okay, you're good to go. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.